As the scripture been read, Jesus took the bread and blessed it, which represents my body. He said, take and drink. I'm sorry. Take and eat of it. Amen. 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 Pray for your back. Amen. All the time. Yes, sir. The cup, which represents my blood. Amen. Blood represents life. He said, take. He blessed it first. He said, take and drink of it. His word, brother, instructs us for as often yes, sir. as you do it. Amen. You do it in remembrance of what I did Amen. for you. Yes, I did something yes, for you that you couldn't All right. do for yourself. Amen. 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 And let's be real for a minute. Yes, sir. As long as we think we can do it, yes, right. no, no. we do not allow the Lord. All right. To help us. Amen. Every one of us need to get to a point of depending Amen. on him. Amen. Amen. And leaning not to our own understanding. Amen. But in all of our ways, acknowledge him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. So communion, yes, Lord, is for us. Amen. Amen. Because of what he did. Amen. Amen. On our behalf. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 You may be seated. Thank you. 
We always pray that he falls fresh. Amen. One thing about the Spirit of God. Yeah. He fell fresh when we woke up. Yeah. All right. All right. Amen. This is a worship hour. And we do it all together. Amen. Amen. And I believe you got some praise and worship on you. Amen. Before you got here. Talk to you if you can. Amen. The Bible declares this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Aren't you just grateful for us to be here Amen. in the presence of the Lord? One more time. Amen. Whoever you are, you ought to be glad to be here. Amen. Whatever is caring, amen. If it's weighing you down, then you need to cast all your cares upon the Lord. Amen. He said, I care for you. Amen. 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 I travel with them long enough to know, amen, that I understand that I cannot carry the Lord. Amen. But the old fool had it right again. He's a heavy old carrier. He's a burden bearer. Anybody gonna say amen to what I just said? Amen. God is God. Amen. Amen. And I always try to use the word but God. Whatever situation or whoever I'm talking with. But God. Amen. When that but God, that I means he's rich. Amen. He's rich in everything that we need him to be rich in. Amen. So it's God so rich. Just go ahead and be rich with your amen. Go ahead and be rich with your praise. Go ahead and be rich with your thanksgiving. Just go ahead and be rich and rejoice in the Lord. Because what? Amen. We come here to worship God. We come here to lift up the name of Jesus. We, we come here, amen, to get fired up to go. We can go do what we need to do with the Lord. I told somebody earlier, right? I fill up my car on Saturday or Sunday or Monday, but it, it don't run two weeks, amen. I, I need to go back and refill up. Anybody want to refill up this morning in the Lord? Fill up! Refill! Hallelujah, amen. And you may not do it the way that I do it, but you ought to be doing it whatever way that you need to do it, as long as you do it. Amen. There is a word. That word is found in the book of Jude. In the book of Jude. There's only one book. It's in the New Testament. So that way you don't have to go to your index. It's over in the New Testament. It's over close to the end. That's right. Amen. 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 You found the book of Jude. And often we hear about the book of Jude doing benediction. All right. Amen. Amen. Often I wonder that the people don't really understand what a benediction is. I often wonder that do people really get the message, get the message mm -hmm. that brought the benediction. Mm -hmm. The message of coming, as we call it, to church. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because there is a blessing Amen. before the benediction. Amen. Amen. We've been taught that don't leave the church and don't trip out, don't stick your finger up. Well, there's a blessing in the benediction. I'm going to back up a little further than that. You need to get the message before the benediction. Amen. Amen. In the book of Jude here, we find, I'm just going to read. Verse 24 and 25, we pray God will let us deal with some more of those verses. You find it, you have it, everybody have it? Amen. 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 Don't say you have it and you don't have it. Now. <laughs> Amen. Make sure, if you need some time, just tell me to pass it along. Amen. 
now unto him, yeah. verse 24, mm -hmm. that is able to keep you from falling yeah. and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory mm -hmm. with exceeding joy. Well, yeah. all right. To the only wise God, our Savior, mm -hmm. be glory and majesty, Amen. dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. Amen. Notice it says, Amen. 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 All right. All right. Amen means the text which has been said is complete. All right. All right. And when God can Amen to His Word, Amen, amen that means God the Father is talking. Yes, sir. Yes. All right. And we are His people. And we'll be able to say Amen. amen. To this word. God, we pray now that you would use this, your servant, to your glory. Yes, sir. That your word, we always pray that your word will be further clarified. Yes. Then God, your people, will be edified. Yes. And you be glorified. Yes. Touch us as only you can touch us. Yes, Lord. Keep us and use us to your glory, and then God yes. will be covered. Tell you, thank you in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 May be seated in the presence of the Lord who we'll used so a message from the Lord today. Amen. That message is Amen. Understanding the message before leaving the building. Right. Understanding the message. Before you leave the building. And I think the Lord is making that statement is because, and, and I've done it, amen. I don't know how many times, but I, I try not to do it now, but I, I've done it. Well, I, I've left church and didn't have a clue uh, of what they were talking about. All, all I remember is I went to church. All right. All right. Amen. Say amen if I'm telling you the truth. Amen. And say amen if you're guilty. Amen. amen. Because right. you should know the truth. And the truth, the Bible says, shall set you free. Amen. amen. So set you free. Understanding the message before I leaving the building. Amen. The blessed message today is Jesus the Christ. And, and I need to remind you and I, 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 I try to do it often the, the message of what Jesus did he, he came into this world for a purpose. Yes, right. Amen. Amen. He, he walked the land. He, he gave sight to the blind. He, he did his ministry work for a purpose. Yes, and he did all he could do because he knew that he had to die for the sins of the world. Yes. Amen. And what we ought to do as Christians, uh, we have said we have confessed with our mouth and we believe that Lord is our Savior. We ought to do all we can do while we can do it. That's right. Ain't that right? Yeah. Amen. But the Bible tells us we, we don't just go so far and stop. The Bible said we ought to be faithful unto death. Yeah. And, amen. And a lot of times we, we, we can't expect the reward until we put in some time. Yeah. Amen. You can't get a retirement if you have never worked. We have a witness here. Amen. You, you can't get no social security if you haven't paid in. So what? You cannot work to speak to those if you haven't accepted Jesus as your Savior. So what? Today, we need to understand the message is Jesus the Christ, the one that was born in Bethlehem, the one that walked the land, the one that died and got up on the third day morning, and he said, I come to see and to save that which was lost. If anybody lost today, you don't have to stay lost. If anybody saved, you didn't save yourself. Yeah. Understand the message. Yeah. Amen. I come to, amen. I, I come to the building to worship God. Yeah. I come to the building to get edified. I come to the building to get inspired. I come to the building to get what the fellowship to one another. Amen. I come to the building to get better than it was where I came. Amen. And when I leave, I understand the message yes, that Jesus. Yes. It's not about me. Come on. Right. It's about Him. It's Come on, man. Right. If it was about me, I'd stay young. All right. If it was about me, Amen. I wouldn't have no wrinkles. Right. If it was about me, I wouldn't have no gray hair. Right. If it was about me, I wouldn't have no arthritis. Right. If it was about 
Come on, talk to them. I would have them back talk. Hey, they better not about me. The one thing about it, while this body is leaking, he's already constructed another body. And that body is not made from the hands of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Do you understand the message today?
thing that we do to even one another sometimes. Pull the hate on the enemy. Hey, put that thumb, smile in your face. Yeah. Amen. I can't know the, the name of it. Amen. But uh, if you, if we think about it long enough, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. But pull the hate, but don't worry about that. See, I, I'm trying to please the Lord. And when I'm trying to please the Lord, I'm going to keep smiling at you. Amen. I'm going to keep loving you because what I understand the message. The message that Jesus Christ portray is, it's a message of love. Right. It's a message of forgiveness. It's a message of fellowship and mingling and, and getting along with one another. Amen. That's the message he gave. Why? Because he's the savior of the world. Amen. Why do you want to walk around all mad, pucked up, amen, not getting no sleep over something, amen, that he turned over to the Lord. He said, he that keep in Israel shall never slumber nor sleep, but the what? I'm going to trust in the Lord. I'm going to lay down and get me some rest. Because what? God got it. Well, you see, understand your past, but understand who brought you. And please, don't get where you come from. And then don't forget who brought you. Amen. And please, don't forget how many birthdays you got. Amen. <laughs> It's a blessing to have a birthday. Talk to me, somebody. Amen. Amen. Uh, I was at the doctor's office the other day, and the, and, the, and the lady was saying that, that we don't have you in the system, and, and, and you got another insurance. I said, I don't have no other insurance. I got that insurance. Well, we filed it on Blue Cross and didn't reject it. I said, because I don't have Blue Cross. <laughs> so what Blue Cross is going to reject it because I don't have Blue Cross. And then by that time, Anita Hearn uh, walked up and said, Pastor, just tell them we done got old. That's all. <laughs> by the time I got to we done got old out of my mouth, the lady said, come on here. <laughs> Other lady had said, uh, uh, no openness. You're going to have to come back tomorrow. The other lady said, come on here. Oh, Mr. Right. Hanson, come on back. We're going to get you back in. God will open doors. Why I'm coming back 
to confuse. You know what I'm gonna tell you? Come on up. <laughs> come, come holler at you, boy. <laughs> Amen. Come on up. It's room for you. Mm -hmm. So keep pressing while you do. Yes, church, we need to understand the message today before we leave the building. Amen. The Lord want me to tell you a few things to knowing. Amen. First thing, knowing who is keeping us. All right. All right. I said knowing who is keeping us. Yes. Yeah. And it's not <coughs> I said. Amen. You can use all the anti-Asian stuff you want to. <laughs> Amen. The Lord is the one that preserves us. The Bible says he preserves that going out. Yes, sir. And that coming in. Yes. And even if you use that stuff, you look close enough, you still gonna find a ring. Come on. Talk to me somebody. Amen. Why? Because the Bible is leaking. And, and if it's leaking, it's just leaking. Yeah. What you need to do is keep it restored. Oh. Now, I ain't say don't fix yourself up. Don't get a haircut. Don't fix your hair. Look, now nah, you do that. Yeah. But you still leaking. Yeah. 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 Look at what? I'm just going to be a good look. I'm going to be looking good leaking. Yeah. 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 Come here. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be leaking. I ain't mean to be looking bad leaking. That's right. Now, I look good. Test, test out. Amen. Hat tap, smiling. Amen. Somebody said, well, them your, them your, them your mouth. Yeah, they mine, I Jesus. Jesus. 
Jesus. Y'all know him, don't you? Yes, sir. The one that was born of a virgin birth? Yes, sir. Y'all know him, don't you? Yes, sir. My name of Mary? Yes, Let me tell you something about Y'all know who did it then? Yes, sir. It was the Holy Ghost. Yes, the Bible said the Holy Ghost overshadowed her. Yes, and the reason why the, the Lord did it himself, he didn't want man to try to take credit of it. Because when man tried to take credit of it, he'll mess it up every time. Yes, because he'll get to thinking that it's his. God said, now nah, you ain't got no claim here. But you got to, you, you can stake a claim, but you don't have no claim. You can't take no credit here. You can't take no credit about the virgin birth. You can't take no credit about being saved. Yes. If you are saved, I get the credit. If you've been born again, I'm the one that did. If you've been blessed, I'm the one that blessed you. You don't got no claim, amen. You don't got no bragging rights. Yeah. Understand the message, y'all. Before you leave the building. So everybody understand what I'm preaching about today. Everybody understand what I'm saying today. Before you leave the building. So if I give you a pop quiz at the back door, at the front door, you can answer the question. Yeah. Yes. And hey, don't be trying to Google it neither. <laughs> don't be trying to look at YouTube because Sister Morgan hadn't put it up posted yet. <laughs> Amen. You got to understand the message yeah. before you leave the building. <laughs> so what? Understand who is keeping us. <laughs> and not we ourselves. <laughs> this is called our sustaining. This uh, the Lord's keeping ability. Yeah. Knowing how Jesus, listen. I, I, I tell you what, it, it, it give you a, a bit of sweet, it give you a sad, it give you some kind of feeling sometimes when you read behind what he did and what he was wounded for our transgression and all that stuff he did and took on because he loved little old me. You know, I just said he was wounded for my transgression. Can I back up and say that again? He was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for what my nigga was. The chastisement of my peace was upon him. And he, you know what? And he did that because of what? He loved me. So if somebody loves you, what's, what you going to do? You're going to love them back. Yeah. Yeah. If somebody tell you thank you, what you going to do? You're going to tell them thank you. So if Lord did all that, know what he wants us to do. Mm. Not only he want us to mm. tell him thank you. Mm. He said, now, if I can do all that, mm. amen, for you, right. and I can give you that peace, he said, let me, come on. He said, open up your heart. Right. Let me come in. Right. And I will set up a special place. Right. Yes, Amen. A special place yeah. in your heart. Yeah. My old folk had it right again. He said, what? Well, what did you say? Can't nobody, Can't nobody. do me like Jesus. Can't nobody. You know what? He'll come in. He'll set up. He'll touch your heart. He'll tell you things. And he won't tell. You can tell Jesus anything. He won't tell nobody. But he, at the same time, he said, what I've done to others, I'll do to you. Amen. And you know what? I worry I would mean something. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're right. Amen. Yeah. Yes, sir. And you, if you tell somebody that uh, uh, they told me not to tell it, but I don't want you to tell it, you done already broke the trust bone. Uh -huh. Why? Because you told me. Yeah. I tell people all the time, right? I said, now, if, if you wanted to get out, you told me. That's right. That's right. I ain't telling you. Now, and she's going to know something. She don't mean that. Amen. She know. Amen. I, I'm a top-notch, brand-new freezer. All right. <laughs> Amen. Western House, where you don't call me. Amen. I'm not a broke refrigerator. All right. And you know what a broke refrigerator can't keep working. Knowing how Jesus was falsely accused, taken through a mock trial, a mock trial, meaningless, pretending to be real, mm -hmm. found him guilty All right. with reasonable doubt. Amen. Do I have a witness here? Amen. Crucified Jesus. Amen. For our sins on Calvary Hill. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. Yes, yes. Remember that he was buried because he was dead. Yeah. I said he was buried because he was dead. Yeah. All right. You don't bury nobody alive. He was buried because he was dead. And he, he was buried because he said, I, I, nobody take my life, I'm going to lay it down. He said, but, but I didn't have the thought to lay it down. I got a thought to pick it up. See, this is why the enemy can't keep us down. Because great is he that's in us, that he that's in the world. Amen. You can't keep me down because what? I got some power of the Lord in me. Amen. You, you can't keep a praying man down. You, you can't keep a trusting man in the Lord down. Amen. Matter of fact, I've had some of them people, boy, 
voice to find a fire experience. Yeah. Lord, have a witness. Yeah. The enemy thought he had me, but when the Lord brought me out, I, I didn't even have the smell of smoke on me. I, talk to me, somebody. I didn't even have the smell of what you tried to do. Because God walked with me. God, God talked with me. God is the one that keeps me from day in and day out. Does he keep you? They trust the Lord before they went in. All right. Therefore, they trust Him while they was in. That's exactly right. And guess who brought them out? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Don't worry about the enemy. Worry about the one that, Amen, that can keep us from falling. Amen. amen. Remember that He was buried after that, yeah. but He rose All right. the third day, just as He had prophesied. Right. Do we believe that He conquered sin, death? And the grave. Yeah. You believe that he's coming back for those yeah. who trust him. Amen. By faith. Amen. Yeah. He will sustain us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Heaven and earth, the Bible said, will pass away. Right. But he said, my word will stand. Right. Understanding the message today yeah. Yeah. before we leave the building. Right. The blessing is Jesus. Yeah. The yeah. second thing, reject those things with that detain us. Uh -huh. Don't entertain something that's going to pull you down. Right. Don't entertain something that's going to cause confusion. Uh -huh. Don't entertain a lie because it's not yeah. the truth. Uh -huh. And then don't try to get somebody else involved with something that you know ain't right. Uh -huh. Amen. If you're going to get the thing right, talk to the Lord yourself. Uh -huh. Amen. When David messed up and David went before the Lord, he said, the Lord, I, I, I know I ran and tried to outrun this thing. He said, but I'm coming back to the originator. I'm coming back to the creator. I'm coming back to the one that put breath in my body. I'm coming back. He said, have mercy on me. Yeah, that means what? I'm coming humble. I'm coming to cheer. Have mercy on me because God, I know you got a lot of mercy. You got a lot of grace. I'm coming to you. Created me a clean heart and renew the right spirit with me. And when you do that, I tell others about the goodness of the Lord. I Hebrews 12 and 2 said, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. He did it despising the shame. He endured the cross, rose and sat down on the right hand of the Father. You know what he's doing? He's making intercession. Amen for his children. Ain't he all right today? Here in the text, Jude wanted his readers to notice that everything that sounds good. Amen. Isn't good. Uh, uh, can I break English? Amen. For a minute, teach us everything that sounds good ain't good. Do I have a witness here? Everything that looks good ain't good. And matter of fact, that demon come in all kind of ways. That demon even smell good sometimes. That demon look good sometimes. That demon got a curve. I talk to me somebody. That demon got some different color hair. That demon drive a car. Bless up, amen. But guess what? When you got the Lord, you can dismiss the demon. When you got the spirit of the Lord, you can dismiss the demon. And you can do, and it used to be a song, they were just making songs. Said, I can do bad. Oh, baby. I can do good, great, great by myself. Because I'm not by myself. When the Lord is around, there's three of them and one of me. That's four people. And the house is full. Shout glory. Stay here. 
Everybody in the house today understand the message before you leave the bill. You know, the Bible talks about scoffers and mockers. Only thing they do is criticize. They've been doing it, amen, for almost 30, my 33 years, I know they was doing it before then, they ain't gonna do it some more. Yeah. Even had the audacity yes, sir. to try to make fault, even during a pandemic. All right. When God would let you see one day after another, All right. but they always find fault. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Stay away from the people, mm -hmm. because misery, love company. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. I'm glad I know the Lord today. Yeah. Old folks say he walks with me. Yeah. And he talks with me. Yeah. The mockers will criticize the way things are done, the way worship is conducted. Right. You ought to be glad and grateful just to be here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. To have a witness here. Yeah. And you, before you got here, you should have read, Amen. I was glad when they said unto me, All right. Let us go into the house of the Lord. Yeah. Of the Lord. Yeah. And then, in case you forgot, you ought to be saying, I will lift my eyes unto the hills. Which cometh my help? How yeah. many believe today that my help comes from the Lord? Yeah. And not only that, we need to keep building on, or building up and holding on to Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. You need to be a part of Jesus' rescue squad. All right. And then we need to understand the message mm -hmm. before we leave the building. Right. Can I go over it one more time as the Lord close this message? Amen. The Bible said, now unto him who is able to keep you from falling. Yes. But you should have read the rest of it before when it was talking about Jesus the Christ. Yes. You can't shout about the Lord until you know something yes. about the Lord. Yes. You really can't say amen until you have read the sentence that leading up to the amen. Yes. You really can't lift your eyes until the hills and until you understand where your help comes from. Do I have a witness here? Now, and I'm glad to know today that I can say amen and I want to encourage you to say amen to the message. Huh? Because I understand and I have accepted in my heart that Jesus is the Christ, the Savior of the world. Huh? Can anybody can say amen that he is the Savior of the world? Huh? Can anybody say amen to him that amen born in Bethlehem? Huh? Anybody in the house today can say amen Amen to him. Amen. Die in our own Calvary. Anybody ever read in the Bible from the sixth to the ninth hour? He hung our own Calvary. Can anybody say amen? When he went in the grave, have you ever read when he took the stain out of death and took the victory out of the grave? Can you say amen to the message when Jesus come up out of the grave and said, All power is in my divine hand? Can you say amen to the message? Do you understand before you leave the building who died for you? Do you can you say amen before you leave the building where your help come from? Can you say amen to the one amen that's so tired and look low? Can you pray the one amen that let watch over you all night last night? Can you say amen to the one that woke you up cold in your right mind? Yeah. Yeah. We glorify his name. Yeah. Yeah. We cannot give him glory. Yeah. 
It's already his. Right. You can't give him nothing that's already his. Right. Amen. You can't, amen. When you get saved, can't nobody give you salvation. Right. Why? Because you already have it. Right. But you praise him because you have received the salvation. But glory is his. So what? We glorify his name. We praise and worship his name. But glory is his and his alone. Thank God. Thank God. For his word. Thank God. For his spirit. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. The word benediction means. It means invoking a divine blessing upon people. As you depart. To understand the divine blessing, one must re remember the message about Jesus. All right. Amen. This is why we preach about him every Sunday. This is why we tell people he died and rose every Sunday. Amen. If he blesses me every day, I, I, I think I ought to just give him that reverence. Every time I get a chance to tell somebody about the good, he died for my son. And I don't have to wait till I get behind the pulpit to tell you he died for you. I can tell you in the streets. I can tell you at the house. I can tell you at six points. He died for you. But guess what? That's not the end of the story. He got up. And he didn't just get up. He got up with a thought. He gave me the authority and gave me that. And I understand that message. Amen. And he gave me the ability to forgive, to hide behind the mountain. All right, all right, all right. Where the chili winds of the world. Winds of the world cannot blow because I'm wrapped up. I'm tired. I'm tangled up in the law. Matter of fact, this tangle, some tangle you can't, I don't want to get it out. Just stay tangled up because if I stay tangled up in the law, I'm going to keep blessing you. I'm going to keep thanking you. I'm going to keep talking. I don't want to get out the way. Just a little bit. I'm going to hide behind the
understand the message before you leave the building. Amen. You can be like the woman at the well. All right. Now, when she received it, she said, she went by the shops, all the places, and she said, come see a man. All right. Which told me all things. It's not. It's the Christ. I always say this because I love it. She said, Jesus said, you come to draw. I come to pour. All right, all right. Amen. Amen. It's a difference. See, if you let the enemy draw everything out, you won't have that left. Jesus, he, he poured life. He poured in joy. He poured in peace. Amen. Amen. We need to be peaceful today. We can do old. Amen. Amen. All up in the upper Amen. Up. We can do old. Amen. You know? yeah. We're too old. Yeah. You're too young anyway. You're too young also. You're definitely too old. Amen. 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 Get that thing right. Amen. Get it right. Get it right. The Bible said, what? Don't let the wrath go down. Don't let the wrath Let the sun go down. That's biblical. Amen. Is everybody saved in the house? Amen. Everybody saved. Jesus, I extend first invitation to Christ. Amen. 